Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with Fornarena.com and you're watching the comparison between the Sony Xperia Z1 and the Xperia Z. Sony announced the Xperia Z1 at IFA 2013 in Berlin. Currently, Sony Xperia Z1 has the biggest camera sensor on an Android smartphone. The Xperia Z was announced during CES nearly 10 months back. It was Sony's first Full HD smartphone and was also the first phone to set a new design language for Sony's lineup and it came with water and dust resistance. The Z1 is the successor of the Z in a lot of ways. That includes a better camera, a better processor and even a supposedly better display. So we are comparing both these phones today with a similar design language, almost identical software features and are water and dust resistant. And in terms of processing power, one outperforms the other, but there is more to it. So let's dive into the differences. In terms of looks, the Xperia Z1 and the Xperia Z are quite similar. Both the phones come with a rectangular build and a single piece of aluminium at the center and glass on the front and the back. In terms of dimensions, the Xperia Z1 is taller, wider and thicker than the Xperia Z. Yeah, the Xperia Z1 is relatively bigger than the Xperia Z, although both the phones have the same 5 inch display. As far as the weight is concerned, the Xperia Z1 weighs a hefty 170 grams, while the Xperia Z weighs nearly 25 grams less at 146 grams. The display dominates the front and we can note that the Z1 has a slightly larger bezel. On the Z1 above the display, the earpiece is along the top edge. And on the right side of the Sony logo, we have the 2 megapixel front facing camera. Both the phones come with similar component arrangements on the front and there are no hardware keys as the controls are overlaid on the UI for both the phones. The primary microphone seems to be hidden on the Z1 while it is there along at the bottom of the edge on the Z. But either way, the front is protected by shatterproof and scratch resistant glass on both the phones. The positioning of keys is also similar as they follow a same design language. Apart from the iconic Sony lock button that was introduced with the Xperia Z, we also have an extra camera shutter key on the Z1 since it is a camera centric device. The same position is occupied by the loudspeaker on the Z. The Z1 speakers are located at the bottom by the way. Another minor change we noticed is the Z1's 3.5mm jack. It is not covered by a flap anymore but it is still waterproof. Yes, both the phones are water and dust resistant. The Xperia Z1 is IP58 certified while the Xperia Z is IP57 certified. The glass non-removable back on both the phones is good to look at but it's reflective and can be a fingerprint magnet. Not to mention it scratches easily. Due to the nature of the material, we found them slippery too. The Xperia Z1 has the 207 megapixel sensor on the top left corner while the Xperia Z has a 13 megapixel towards the top center. Both the phones come with a single LED flash below the camera. In terms of handling, both the phones are slightly an issue to hold properly in a single hand because of the sharp rectangular build. The Xperia Z1 poses even more of a challenge because of its bigger size while the Xperia Z fits in the hand relatively better. Being Sony's latest, Sony Xperia Z1 has the triluminous Full HD display while the Xperia Z still has the mobile Bravia Engine 2 display. Both the phones, the Xperia Z1 and the Z, have a 5 inch Full HD display with a pixel density of 441 ppi. Both the displays are average because of less than optimal viewing angles. The viewing angles on the Xperia Z are very poor while it is slightly better on the Xperia Z1 but it still falls short of other mobile displays. Moving to internals, the Sony Xperia Z1 brings along with it one of the fastest quad-core chips in the market, the Snapdragon 800 SoC clocked at 2.2 GHz, the Adreno 330 GPU and 2GB of RAM, while the Xperia Z uses the older generation Snapdragon S4 quad-core SoC clocked at 1.5 GHz, 2GB of RAM and the Adreno 320 GPU. As you notice, both the phones come with 2GB of RAM, but around 1 GB is free in idle on the Xperia Z1, while 1.2 GB is free on the Xperia Z in idle. The newer processor gives the Xperia Z1 a clear advantage in terms of performance. Because of the newer processor, the Xperia Z1 scores better in benchmarks and games too perform way better on the Xperia Z1 as expected. As we mentioned earlier, the Sony Xperia Z1 comes with the biggest sensor on an Android smartphone. It comes with a 20.7 megapixel Sony sensor and houses Sony's own Bionz image processor for superior image quality.
The Xperia Z on the other hand comes with Sony's Exmor RS 13MP camera at the back. In terms of camera UI, despite coming from the same manufacturer, there is some notable differences. Apart from the general UI changes, there are these different shooting modes available in the Xperia Z1 that includes the regular superior auto mode, manual mode and various other effects. If there was one thing that stood out in these different modes, that would be the live AR mode. It lets you add augmented reality 3D elements on any canvas, which is really fun to use. The Xperia Z1 also produces oversampled 8 megapixel images in superior auto mode, making it one of the first in the Android world. In terms of image quality, the photos and videos taken on the Xperia Z1 are much much better with better details and more colors. Clearly, the Xperia Z1 is the winner here. Both the phones run on Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean with a custom skin from Sony. The UI is exactly the same on both the phones, so there isn't really any comparison. Some of the interesting implementations of the UI include small floating apps and the general look and feel, which is more Sony than ever. But when it comes to some default apps, the performance difference is very apparent. We also noted that loudspeaker performance is definitely better on the Z1. Talking of performance again, Xperia Z1 is absolutely great for gaming because of the Snapdragon 800 SoC. Gaming on the Xperia Z is good, but simply not as good as the Xperia Z1. We noticed that both the devices heated up while playing graphically intensive games and both come with out of the box wireless support for the PlayStation 3 controller which is kind of unique. One of the surprisingly good things about the Xperia Z1 is its amazing battery. The Z1 comes with a 3000mAh non-removable lithium ion battery while the Xperia Z comes with a 2330mAh battery of the similar variety. The bigger battery of the Z1 definitely gives it an advantage in terms of battery life. Both the phones are equipped with Sony stamina mode that is really popular and that helps the phone last even longer which is a welcome addition. Another interesting difference between the Z and the Z1 is that the Xperia Z1 has the Wi-Fi 802.11 AC support. So in the end, the Sony Xperia Z1 is very much a better Xperia Z with almost all round improvements. With Xperia Z, Sony finally stopped trailing behind the market in the specs race and with the Z1, things just got better. The Xperia Z1 currently retails at around Rs. 40,000, while the Xperia Z is available for Rs. 32,000. The newer generation Xperia Z1, which is priced around 8,000 higher, brings along a better processing power, better battery life and a better camera, while the build quality, display and the water dust resistance remain the same. So that's it for our comparison video. We hope you enjoyed this. If you did, do it the like button and do it the subscribe button for more videos like these. You can also check out our blog post detailing the Xperia Z1 and the Xperia Z in even more detail. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching and let us know what you think in the comment section below.